Hello! Today we are working on a test article to see if I can make a Jacobin twist on the bottom of a table leg. So I'm taking an old piece of scrap 2x2 two two oak to make the test article. And the first, since we're going to put it on the lathe, the first thing we're going to do is mark out the dead center of the test article wood, the scrapper, and to make sure that it is the, the, there are two small holes on each end that are dead center to keep that thing from wagging around on the lathe. Nothing annoys me more than having a piece of wood on the lathe. So I'll take a sixteenth inch bit and drill a pilot hole on each end. And this one wasn't exact dead center. If it's off as much as uh, a sixteenth of an inch, it'll it'll it could waggle on there, and it's really unpleasant. Now I grab a 3 16 inch bit to make the final hole. It doesn't have to go in very far, maybe just a quarter of an inch. Nevertheless, it's really important to get it to fit into the lathe right just right. Now we take it over to the lathe and fit it in. Sorry I'm still not friends with the GoPro yet. Um, I'm, I'm going to work on maybe getting one of those chest things instead of on top of my head. It's really tough to mess with it there. Kind of got a little confused here, but then we need to mark off uh, about three inches because there needs to be a square because it's going to replicate the rest of the leg. Only the bottoms are going to have the Jacob and Twist. They take the old transfer square, mark it so that we don't round off too much. So that it simulates the table legs. Now we check, we run it on the lathe to make sure that it's this is after I've had it on the lathe and uh, cut it down to where it's totally round. I need to make absolutely sure that it, it it's even all the way up and down. Put those outside calipers on there to make, find the narrowest spot and then see where how much more trimming down we need to do. Oh, still a few places here that's a little too wide. I don't like that. So we need to check it. After we've done that, we've got it pretty even, then take it in sandpaper, because it needs to be smooth, because we're going to mark this part out. So we take the width, and take it to the ruler, and measure it. It's one and three quarter inches for, for total round. Now we need to mark out one and three quarter inch markings on here so that that's how many twists we're going to put in. Five one and three quarter inch markings. So go ahead and mark them around. Now we need to go mark the centers of each of those runs and then the centers of those. So there's four in each twist. Just like that and then highlight the original ones and make sure they're dark enough that you can tell where they're at. Now we need to do the lateral lines, and those are four lateral lines. Each one matches the corner of that top square bit. So draw them out. Oh, 
all the way around. Make sure they're, they're, they match the corners of that top block. So you know where to start and you know where to finish and start making your diagonal lines up through each successive block. So it ends on one and you start it on four. Them up to make sure you can get them all nice and be seen. Now we take a saw and cut a groove along that diagonal line. good quarter of an inch. If you start it off on one, you end at four. grab our set of rat tail files, start working down that groove. We've got to get them down about a half of an inch on this one. Since it's one and three quarter inch wide, that groove has got to be a half inch deep. I'll keep working it down with the rat tail. This can be rather exhausting work. The first little bit of this can be quite difficult. I mean, just physically beating you up. But it feels good to work, you know. But it, it can be quite tedious, and it is a lot of work. And then take the medium file once you've got the little file in. And chew away on it. And take the big rat tail file and chew away on it. We're just about done for today. Um, tomorrow we'll do some more of this, we'll be using some different tools perhaps. And then I like to go back to using the small rat tail file to cut it in deep. And then use the medium and then the large rat tail files to keep widening the, that groove. So we're about done for today, but so we've done quite a little bit. And so it's coming right along. It looks really nice. So more tomorrow.